about me? Good girl. Good girl. That's how you do it, milkshake. Good girl. All right, this is what we working with. We just down in New Core in Blytheville, Arkansas. Shout out to Country Ghetto. Uh, if you don't know, go check out Country Ghetto on YouTube. Uh, so, we're gonna do chains and straps. This time, cause I didn't on the last one, we're gonna, we're gonna stop the forward movement on this one. All right. Um, we are going to We're going to do a bulkhead and an X chain. Um uh, an X chain over the front. Uh just for the sake of seeing how to do it basically. Um and for the uh, for safety of course. So Let's get Milkshake up on the... Hey, hey, Milkshake, where you at? Come here. Come here. Come on. Let's get up there. Good girl. What you doing, Milkshake? Uh-huh. What you doing, Milkshake? Now, yes, I can just throw the straps, tighten them down and go. That's not a problem. I'm not in a rush. Uh, I'm taking advantage of this beautiful sunny day. Even if I rush, it's not gonna make a matter out of the next load or not. I still will make my next load. So for all the guys that, you know, wanna, get in the comments talk about I'm taking forever to do it as I said you know uh, one I'm making the video and two me rushing to do this is not gonna affect me getting my next load because of the way I'm scheduled so I'll make my next load for tonight I will be dropping this one off and picking up my next and headed to the East Coast just like that. So why do I gotta rush around, make mistakes because I'm rushing around? It doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the video. I hope you'll like it. Me and Milkshake, there you go. She's getting the hang of being on the flatbed. Soon enough, she'll be able to jump up there on her own. She growing like a damn weed. Right, Milkshake? Right? Ooh, you getting dirty, Milkshake? You getting dirty? I hate these dusty ass. Uh, dusty uh, locks. Right, milkshake. Look at you. Look at you. You're all dirty now. So we're gonna have to take you. We're gonna have to take you into the loves and get a shower. So usually I don't keep my uh, straps on the winches. Usually. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not a pro at this, keeping the straps on the winches. That's why I'm looking a little bit jumbled right now because I watched some guys do it. Huh? It's crazy how they do it. I don't really like how it tightens down. Uh, 
but they were on the winches. So we're gonna run with it. Right milkshake? Oh, well maybe that'll help. I'll do that, see? Ah, there we go. I just figured something out on my own. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six times five. That's 30,000. Four times five, 2,000. That's 32,000 pounds of securement on it so far. 32,000 pounds. We need to meet at least, at least half the load I think I weighed out at 76. So that means that uh, 30, it means I'm 46,000 pounds. I need to make it at least 23,000 pounds of securement, but safely. Safely. We, right now we have 32,000. We're gonna put two more chains on it and bump it up to the, which will add another 12. That's gonna bring us to 44, plus the other 600, that's 12. That's actually 45,2. 45,200 pounds of securement we'll have on it when it's said and done. I was very happy to find out that I did not have to tarp this load. I thought I had to tarp it. And come to find out, I didn't have to tarp it. How many chains we got left to do what I want to do? Two? Beautiful. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this down the middle of the load. You notice I haven't gotten down yet to fix my straps because it doesn't suit me to jump up and down the damn trailer the least time I got to go up and down up and down up and down the better and the quicker the load is gonna be so if I wasn't doing the video and I'll be moving at a regular pace my regular pace I'd be obviously not jumping up and down the load. It's gonna benefit me as well. about good all right let's leave that come on milkshake
milkshake, you don't know how happy I am that I don't have to tarp it. And not because I don't want to tarp, but tarping with these damn, this is ridiculous. It just came out of the, the yard in the mud too. So we all, we all been through that, right? Look at you, look, you're all dirty. You're all dirty. <laughs> Now, another thing, when you're securing, you see all these other trucks passing you, they might have four chains on it, five chains on it. Don't let that determine what you do or what you're doing, what you're supposed to do. Remember, with some of these trucks, a lot of these guys, sleeper, day cab, doesn't matter. A lot of them are only going 150, 200 miles. And I'll be, I will admit to you that even if I'm going 100, like 100, 250 miles, I still, I still do it safely. Uh, I still secure my load safely, but it does affect how I secure my load. I'm not going to go totally insane on load. Uh, Oh, you know what? I'm tripping. So, when you see these guys, so when you see these guys passing you, like I said, and they got half the securement that you got, don't let that be a deciding factor. Come on. Come on. She's all nervous. That's why I keep putting her up there. Get her used to the sounds. Get her used to what I'm doing. What do we do? There's the well. We're pulling against the well. Right? That's what we're doing. We're pulling against the well. against the well now you can see I'm doing this one differently I'm not doing the triangles me personally I like to put uh I like to put the ratchets on the passenger side on the passenger side because if I have to I don't like to, but if I have to pull over on the side of the road, I'm not doing the ratchet and cars is flying by me. 
I'm on the safe side of the truck. So I like to put my ratchets on the passenger side. You can put your ratchets wherever you want. That's what I do. Just saying. Right, Moshe? Just saying. Come on, dirty girl. What's wrong, huh? What's wrong? What you whining about? What do we do? We hang this as high as we can. You're being a good girl. You're being a good girl. down then we're going to secure the front this is one of the reasons I don't like keeping up the, the straps on the winches because I've already put this winch bar in there five times and can still get it down. If uh, you fold the straps, you'll do it half, the, half as many times. Then you do if they're already in the winches. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Trace, what are you gonna do to stop forward movement? What are you gonna do? <clears throat> Flat bit gives you a little bit of cardio. It ain't too intense though. little bit I wouldn't say you're burning a thousand calories that shit ain't happening what are you gonna do kids? oh 
That's what I want right there. That's what I want. So what are we covering? We're covering this one. We're covering this one. And say we do that instead. And we're covering that one. covering them all and I don't think we'll be able to but we're covering a lot of them right or wrong I'm not gonna X chain that with a uh, scratch because uh, that should have cut right through some scraps Shake. Took a punch. Yes, you did. This don't have to be extremely tight. And I'll tell you why. Because this is pulling them backwards. That's what I found. It can be tight, but it doesn't, you don't have to like, see? It's happening actually. Uh, so as long as they're, they're, they're secure, like that thing ain't, oh, I might've just snagged myself. That's all right. That's actually all right. Like I said, it don't have to be extremely tight. They need to be secure, but those cross chains don't have to be like, like Arnold Schwarzenegger tight. That's all right. I'm not worried about that. That's good. Every stack done. Uh, 
Now I know a lot of fellas at my job would be like, Choice, you're doing too much. You know what? You know what I got to say to that? I'm good. I know my, my load ain't, isn't going anywhere. And I could drive the truck hard. I don't mean reckless, I mean hard without worrying about it going anywhere. Drive this truck like a champ. That chain is not gonna let the back walk off. I don't have to worry about the back. That ain't, it ain't going anywhere. It's, it's not going anywhere. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You jumped right over that. That's a good girl. You're using your brain, milkshake. You using your brain, milkshake. Is daddy using his brain? He don't gotta get up there to set the wood. Alright. She 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 might tip it over. <laughs> she, she might, where'd you go, man? Ah, uh, what did I say? She tipped it over. That's all right. I, I respect the fact that you you want to be next to me, Moshe. Now, remember, uh, come on. False bulkhead. Now someone said, man, I would double that up. You could. I got another one up there. So, you could. I don't choose to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't feel the need to on this one. Let's get these. All right. I know country ghettos like you're doing too much. <laughs> Let's get up there. Pick up our chain. Chain it down. Another thing, another reason, I should say, is why not build the bulkhead? I have the wood and no place to put it, right? So, why not build the bulkhead? I was gonna build it in the back anyway. Why not build the bulkhead? You know what I mean? Use all my resources. Use all my resources. Why do you have so much dunnage, Choice? Because I hate running out of it. So I don't give up my dunnage. I'm just saying. If you 
you ask me, Dunnage is a hot commodity. <laughs> well, I work. So, basically all the Dunnage I've had, I carry over to every trailer I get. Dunnage on the bottom, a wall in the front, and a wall in the back. Have I ever had to use every piece? Yes, I have. Believe it or not, I have. Stretch, stretch that out, stretch that out. Make sure that's stretched out. You know, I took a break from doing the securement videos because uh, there was sort of a, there was part of me that was like, man, how many securement videos could you possibly watch or do? But nevertheless, there's always some appreciating people that tell me how much it helped them. and to keep doing what I do. So, I'm gonna keep doing it. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Come on, milkshake. What are we looking at? How's that look, fellas? Ladies in the flatbed game. We looking secure or what? Let's count it up. We got one, two, three, four, five, six straps at 5,400. Five times six, that's 3,000. The other 400, 2,000. That's 30, I mean, that's 30,000 plus 2,000, that's 3,200. We got one chain, two chains, that's 6,600. So 32 and the 12 is 44, and another 1,200 is 45,200 pounds of securement. Downward force, we got X chains on the front, plus we used all our resources because instead of building a bulkhead in the back, well, I really don't need it. I might as well put it up here. You ready, milkshake? You think that does it? We good? Yeah, we're good. Come on. Come on, baby. You need to use the bathroom? Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Look at your little dirty ass. Come on. <laughs> girl, if you wasn't so adorable, I'm trying to tell you. You ready? You ready? Come here. Come here. Good girl. Come on. Go. Oh, watch out. Move. Move. Daddy got him. Watch out. Move. Yeah. 